said I'm coming. Hey, I did. Hey, Thank you. Look at you. So happy you're oh, here. Too. What took you so long? I'm here now. I'm mm -hmm. right on time. Okay. There's so much to talk about. Ah, you said so. Anyway, we'll have to practice. As bringing as ever. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. There's so much to talk about. Yeah. You said so. Mm -hmm. Girl. What's been happening to my best friend? You sounded so excited on the phone. I am excited, all right. I am. Hmm. Yeah. I'm listening. Okay. I'll tell you all about it. All right. Okay. Adi, you know how I've been trying to start my own magazine? Yes, that has been your dream for years. Yeah. Well, I finally found someone. What? <laughs> A firm willing to finance my new magazine. They liked my concepts and they want to come in as partners. You don't say. I say. <laughs> ah, Kel, that's good news. I'm so happy that you come here and Thank you. Thank you. So, when is this mag eating the stand? Um, not so fast. We're still talking. I'm actually doing my final presentation today. Mm, that's good. Ah, girl. I'm so happy. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so sorry, look at me. I should have asked you how your trip was. It's okay. Your news was much more exciting. Yeah. My trip was fine. And girl, I am so happy for you. Thank you. This is the break you've been waiting for. I know, I know. I'm, I'm so excited, Adi. I'm just keeping my fingers crossed and hoping everything will be finalized today. So, oh, well, yes. <laughs> anyway, so, how have you been? How is work? Oh, fine. Yes. Yeah. You're my scholar friend. Yes, yeah. yeah, something my like that. Yeah. <laughs> so, what's, what's up? What's up? Talk about this. I want to talk about it, Dad. It is important to me. Well, I don't want to talk about it. I'm not ready for any of your whining. That is just the problem, Dad. That is just the problem. You never do me to listen to me. You never listen to me. Because you never have anything reasonable to say. Well, I have something reasonable to say, Dad. I need this opportunity. Well, you have every opportunity you need right here. I want to do things. Look, do whatever you want, but do it right here. That's what I'm saying. I don't want to stay here. Please. Well, I will not let you. Cool. That's fine. Okay. If only my mother were alive. If your mother were alive, you would not have turned into such a spoiled, self-centered young man. Oh, whoa. I'm self-centered. Yes, you are. You are the one who was only have things done your way. Because I pay the bills around here. Look, young man, I told you I don't want to hear any more talk about this. I came home for a quiet lunch, but obviously you won't let me, so I might as well go back to the office. Yes, that was you. Always do. Go ahead and walk away. Go ahead and walk away. You have to get going. You don't want to be late, do you? Um, no, I don't want to be too late. But actually, I still have some time. Right. Okay. Well, wish me luck. Luck? You don't need luck. You're going to blow them out of your mind. I hope so. I know so. And are you ready? Ever ready. Then go get them. Okay. I'll call you when I'm done. I'll be waiting. Okay. And don't you worry. Okay. You'll be just fine, okay? Right, thanks. Okay. okay. I'll see you. Have a nice day. Keep your fingers crossed for me. All right, girl. I should have looked too. I should have been more careful. Yeah, that's the last of it. Thank you. You're welcome. Maybe we can go back inside, let me buy you lunch or something.
don't know how else to apologize. I'm really sorry. It was very clumsy of me. It's okay. Like I said, I should have looked too. Listen, why don't we go back inside? I could buy you lunch or something. No, I'm fine. Thank you. A drink then? Come on, it's the least I can do. No, honestly, I'm too nervous to hold anything down. So, what were you doing in there? I went to get this. It helps to calm me down. Okay. Um, I can feel something. Me to say. Um, let's leave that for now, but at least you can tell me where you're going. I'm going to my office. Well, not really my office. I have an appointment. A big one, huh? Very big. I have to get going. Okay, are you driving? No, I'm not. Let me guess, you're nervous. I am nervous. I could drop you off. Yeah? yeah? No, I don't think so. No, it's not a bother. That way you get to your office quicker for your appointment and uh, you don't go late for your peak appointments. I don't want to be anybody. Come on, you're not a truck. Let's go. Okay. Where are you? No, the presentation. Yes, it is this afternoon. Yes, I've been working with them and everything seems to be okay. Of course, you need to be here. Yes, I want us to go through the files first. Okay. I've been waiting in your office. That's what I thought. Alright then. I'll be waiting. Telling me about this big appointment that has made you so nervous? Well, there's really nothing to tell. I think it's like any other appointment, except it's very important to me. That much is obvious. Where's this appointment? The office at Liberty Plaza. But you don't have to drop me there. Uh, you can drop me off anywhere. I'll find my way to Liberty Plaza. It's no bother. It's what happens. I'm headed that way too. You're going towards Liberty Plaza? I'm going to Liberty Plaza. Well, if you're sure, I think you don't like that. with her on the magazine. Oh, Ray. Yeah. She mentioned you. Oh, she did. But if you work with her on the magazine, you should have heard none about the... The presentation. Exactly. Yes, I do. And um, like I said, I thought she would be home by now. Well, she's not. And um, I hope it wouldn't be much of a problem if I can come in and await her return. Because I'm tired of waiting for her. No, please. Nicole's not home. Um, I don't think it's please. a good idea to... Okay. I just want to be here when she returns so I could get to know how everything went, you know? Okay. I can call you. That went well. How do you think so? Yes, indeed. Mm. I told you that was a good one. 
I quite agree with you. But? But nothing I said I agree with you. Okay, okay. Let's go. Mm. You see, I hate to say this, but I, I have to. You see, I've walked with that girl now for about a month. Believe me, she still amazes me. She's indeed something. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's indeed something. Probably that's the way of putting it. <laughs> so, are we agreed then? Yeah, we're going ahead with the project. Good, that's good. You see, what I was even thinking about is if we can hit. Yeah? Is everything all right? Yeah, everything is fine. Right. Yeah, you look kind of uh, distracted. Oh, sorry, I, I just have a few things on my mind. You were saying? Okay. Since we are over with this project, yeah. I think I have to head down to the States immediately. You yeah, know, okay. you know this uh, trip is overdue. I stayed around just to see the project through. Yeah, that's correct. Did you discuss with Dr. Brown? Yes, I did. He must be expecting me now. All right, when do you intend to leave? I intend to leave as soon as I have something for you to carry on with the project. Okay. Just send the files over to my office, and on your way, make sure you stop over in London to conclude arrangements with Mr. Smith. I will do Girl, I am mm. hot. Sorry. <laughs> That's not all. Oh yeah. The deal comes with my own fully furnished office mm -hmm. away from yours. And the way it's going, mm -hmm. it looks like a car is going to follow suit. You don't say. I am oh, saying. Mm -hmm. I just can't wait to get started. Ray, you know what this means? Yeah, walk, walk. Exactly. Loads. And loads, oh, and yeah. loads, and loads of water! Am I dreaming? Oh, <laughs> oh, I'm not dreaming! Am I oh, dreaming? <laughs> I'm so excited. Is this deal signed and sealed yet? Um, well, we've settled on some few key points. Mm -hmm. We still have a few details to go over, but trust me, it's delivered already. Mm -hmm. It's finished! <laughs> Girl, it's the cause for a celebration. Pop what? some bottles, what? you know? She Pop wants. some champagne. Exactly. You know? So, what do you say? Let's go out and celebrate. Just what I had in mind. Oh, I'm coming too. <laughs> what are we going to? I'm buying. No, 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 no. I am buying. Oh. I am the one celebrating, so the bill is on me. Whatever. Let's just go celebrate. So, ladies, where are we heading? Oh Let's oh go. Papa, because the wheels of the wheels. The wheels, eh? Come on, girl. I'm ready. I'm ready. Sorry, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize it was that late. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, don't, don't bother. Don't bother. I'll, I'll take care of that. Uh, just for me to tidy up a few things and I'll be home soon. Okay, don't, don't worry. Don't worry. I'll take care of that. All right. See you soon. I love you too. turn our attention to getting the first edition on the stands. Yeah, I'm working on it. Um, my assistant and I already have more than half the content we need. Okay. When do you think you'll be ready for production? Give and take about two weeks from now. Two weeks. 
You think you'll have that much time in between editions? No. But remember we're working on the first three editions. Mr. Alex insisted on it. Yeah, that's standard procedure. Uh, we'll be ready in two weeks. Okay, that's good. It's been hectic, huh? There's nothing else I'd like to get on the content. I have to get back to work. Nicole. I'm too old for games. Something is happening between us. Look, I don't I don't want to talk about it's too fast and too strong, but it's happening all the same. Neither do I. But at least, shouldn't we see where this is headed? But you don't even know me. I know you're smart and beautiful. I'm trying to learn the rest. Listen, all I'm saying is, let's at least explore what is happening between us, see where it's headed. Otherwise, how can we work well together if this stays unresolved between us? He's already gone out. I just saw him off. This early? To where? To the office. He said he had a meeting this morning. Uh, Pete never goes out without having his breakfast. Yeah. I guess it must be something very important. Uh, I see. So, how many breakfast will be today? Oh, thanks a lot. I'm freaky starving already. What else is new, PJ? You're always starving. Come on, Auntie B. How could you say that? It's almost 7 a.m. And before. the last time anybody had anything to eat in this house was dinner. Yeah, some sort of a while ago. It will be starving now. Going to? Out, I have an important meeting. Meeting? But have you forgotten we were supposed to go over the entertainment features this morning? Yeah, I know, I know, but something else came up. We can deal with this later. But, but Nikki! Please, please, not now. What? Oh, you coming?
times should I come here and then look for Nico? How many times? Huh? No, not that. I'm there. I'm telling you what is okay. What is okay? What is okay? I'm tired of all this, okay? I'm tired. I'm fed up. Please. I'm so surprised that you're not a beast. Yes, that's because I really don't eat too much, be The only thing I do because you eat too little. You're right. You can talk my lights, eh? I found a new life in you. I got a brand new day. What is life without love? to still be in bed. I must have overslept. Yes. That's because, because you came back late from work last night. Shit. I need to be late for work. It's Saturday. Or oh, do you work on Saturdays too? No, I don't. 
You sound like you would rather work on a Saturday. <laughs> no, I don't want to work on Saturdays. Good. Because we need to talk. About? About your sudden of Azealia's interest in work. I don't know why you're talking about. Nikki, you know me better than that, Nikki. So start talking. About what? Okay. Alright. <laughs> I met this one. Hmm. I thought as much. Tricks, okay? If something is bothering you, just come out with it. No, nothing is bothering me. I just want to know what's going on with you. What do you mean, what's going on with me? I don't understand. Pete, you leave this house before daylight. You come back after midnight. And I'm your wife. And I want to know where you've been going to. I've been going to work. I work very hard. Peter. Of course I know that you've been working very hard. You've always been a hard worker. So please do not give me that. I am not stupid. Baby, please. And please do not insult me by lying to me. Because I know you. I know you so well. Look, baby, all this is contrary to what you think. <gasps> So how do you know what I'm thinking? Listen, let's, let's not get it. Okay, the okay, Pete, Pete. If it's not what I'm thinking, what is it then? Because I do not see any reason why you, a married man, would prefer to spend quality time outside his own home rather than inside. I don't get it. Well, I'm listening to you. Talk to me. Baby, I don't want to lie to you. Good for me then. And tell me the truth. I'm not sure you want to hear that either. Just give me a few days to sort things out and I promise everything will be back to normal. It wasn't that bad. Ah, <laughs> I just had to be sure. But really, Adi, mm -hmm. this man is... <sighs> I don't know. I can't find the right word. Gorgeous? More than that. Hmm. He's so considerate. He's so intelligent. And he thinks I'm too good to be free. Hmm. He must be older then. Why do you say that? Huh? I've always said that good men are like good wine. The older they come, the better the experience. Really? really? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, go find yourself a sugar daddy then. <laughs> All right, go. But seriously, is it serious? 
I don't know what I think it is. Okay. So, have you told him? You stopped going to work, so the GM stopped your salary. The GM couldn't have stopped my salary without your approval, Dad. PJ, if you want to earn a salary, you have to work for it. I don't want to work in a stupid job. Playing, playing rent a company, I can do better things. You're not playing at anything. That security company is one of the best around town. Fine, I know, but I don't want to work in it. Simple! why don't you at least give it a try? The GM said you have a natural instinct for security. The GM, the GM. What does he know, Dad? What? Besides, that company is your mother's brainchild. I want to travel abroad. Don't you think she would be happy to see you take over from her? And don't tell me you expect me to waste my life in that security company simply because you think it's what my mother would want. PJ, at least think about it. Dad, I already told you. There is nothing to think about. I want to travel abroad. Just send me abroad. I hate to play the devil's advocate. But I would hate it more to see you get hurt. I know, Adi. Everything has been happening so fast. I haven't had enough time to tell him yet. But remember, you're the one who always wants to tell them before you go into deep. I think this is the best way. I think you're not. It's in the past that should always remain there. Look, Adi. If a man is going to dump me because of it, I'd rather it sooner than later. Don't be saying man will dump you because of it. <laughs> Make of God. Tie the rest of your life to a past you're not even sure of. You're right. I don't want to talk about it. You're my best friend, Nikki. And after everything, you deserve some happiness. I'm happy now. Yes, but for how long? Maybe if you find out the truth, maybe you could at least move on with your life. I don't want to know the truth. It scares me to know the truth. But the truth cannot be worse than what you already believe. I don't know. What if you don't have to live with it at all? Anyway, we don't have to decide it all right away. It's Saturday. Let's go freshen up and find some interesting things to fill up the day. <sighs>
What's it been up to again? Oh, no, no, no. It's not anything bad. It's just that I managed to talk to him and he's going to be staying back in Nigeria to help out with the security company. You did? Mm hmm What magic wand did you wave? <laughs> well, let's just say that I used my feminine magic wand on him. But anyway, <laughs> don't get your hopes so high. It's just for three months. Three months? Yeah. And what happens thereafter? Afterwards, if he still wants to travel abroad, I will just wave my magic wand to your direction and you let him travel. Just like that, eh? Of course, just like that. And how do you intend to do that? Uh-uh. Don't you ever doubt the power of a woman's magic wand. <laughs> uh, so what are you reading? Just some novel. Okay. Listen, I'm, I'm really... I'm very glad you talked to PJ because uh, both of us looked like we were headed for a confrontation. 
It's all right. It's my duty, remember. Thank you. So disturbed on the phone. I am disturbed. What happened? Did your boyfriend not have a good enough explanation? It was too good, and that's the problem. I don't understand. Pete was so bothered because he had to explain to me that he has a son. A son? Yeah. And what about the mother? She died many years ago. They were married. I still don't understand how that is a problem. Can't you see? Pete was so upset that he didn't tell me he has a son. Now, how am I supposed to face him with my own story? <laughs> I still don't understand how that is a problem. In fact, as a matter of fact, I think he's in a perfect position to understand your situation. No, I don't understand you. Okay, let's look at it this way. He was married, his wife died, you were married... No, no, no don't go there. It's definitely not the same situation. Though. I am telling you, Nikki, it is the same thing. Well, for one thing, I don't think Pete meant to keep it away. How as... did you know? Did you ask him? Adi, this is a serious situation. I am serious. I just don't understand why you're so hard on yourself. I found a new life in you. I got a brand new day. Well, 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 I must say that you've done a great job here. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. If you continue at this pace, you'll always beat your deadlines. Well, that's the goal. That's good. You will give this to my secretary. She knows what to do. Okay, sir. Okay? By the way, your official car will be delivered this evening. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. And you'll be moving into your new office by Monday morning. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. You're welcome again, but please, enough of this, sir. I'm sorry. I, I need to use it. It helps me keep my perspectives straight. Okay. So enough of business, then. <laughs> okay. What do you say we... Um, we have dinner tonight to celebrate. What are we celebrating? Well, let's just say we are celebrating the completion of the first phase of our business together. Okay. Your presence in my life. Okay. <laughs> and whatever else you want to celebrate. It also gives me the opportunity to make up for Saturday. Okay, if you say so. Okay. So I'll pick you up at your place, say 7.30 or thereabout. Yeah, 7.30 is fine. Good. <sighs> I better get back to work. All right, see you there. Quite like a surprise. It's okay. It's okay. You said you had something to report. Yeah, but it's not much. Go ahead. As you might already know, the the case was thrown out because the victims' remains were never found. Mm -hmm. So, and even the fingerprints on the weapon did not belong to the suspect. Yes, I know. And and nothing. Let's take it easy. You should know that without a body and a dead end of eight things, police will not be able to do much more. Huh. Senera, did you call me here to tell me things I already knew? I pay you to find out things I don't know, not to repeat things I already knew. Please take it easy, all right? Take it easy. If you want me to dig deeper, I will. But I want you to dig deeper. I want you to find the remains of the supposed victim, if indeed there are remains to be found. 
Are you saying? I am saying anything is possible. Well, you see, I think I have to start on that angle. Please do. And don't call me again except you have something reasonable to report. Oh, I'm um, sorry about that. I'll be leaving now. No, why don't I offer you a drink or something? No, please, thanks. I have to run. Were you expecting someone else? Um, yes, I was. I was just gonna get ready. I'm going out. Again? We've not been able to go through the entertainment features yet, Nikki. What's happening? Nothing. I've been quite busy. Busy? Busy? You're supposed to be busy working on this magazine with me, Nikki. I know. Look, I've been working on some of the other pages and I really like what I have. In fact, all that is left is the entertainment section. Yeah, and the, 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 the articles have been ready for days. I just need you to go through it with me one last time, Nikki. One last time. That's all I ask. Okay, that's good to know, but I'm not going to do it today. Why not? You're here, I'm here, and the articles Ray, are... I told you I have to go out. Now. See, Nikki, I don't know what's been happening with you, okay? But remember, we've put in so much work. We've worked really hard to end this. We shouldn't let it slip through our fingers. Nothing now. is slipping through our fingers, okay? And remember, this is not your dream all alone, okay? I know. Okay, tell you what. Why don't you leave the file with me? I'll go through it tonight. <laughs> Are you serious? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Baby, that's good work. Hold this. are not the only copies you have. Oh, no, no, they are not. And this. If I can make my comments and suggestions in the edge, yeah? Oh, thank you. That's awesome. All right, happy now. Yeah, 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 very happy. <laughs> I should be on my way, Nikki. Right. Okay, thank you. I'm not coming back home. But I just left the house. I'm on my way to keep an appointment. What? The Dukes? Uh, I'd forgotten about the appointment with them. Can't they wait? They came as soon as I left. And they can't wait. All right, all right, I'm, I'm on my way back, okay? I'm on my way back, yeah. Tomorrow, okay? 
I said I was sorry. I'll make it up to you, okay? Tomorrow then? All right then, good night. You too, bye. Who's that? Um, no one. I mean, the, the person I had the other appointment with. Her. Oh. By the way, what are you doing here? Why did you leave our guests all by themselves? No, Doctor. I just wanted something cold to drink. See, about the other appointment, I'm so sorry. I didn't know that the jukes were going to stay this long. I'm sorry. It's all right, I'll sort it out tomorrow. Okay. Let's go and join our guests. I didn't expect you back so soon. Yeah, personally, I wasn't even expecting myself so soon either. What happened? Dr. Brown had some problems with his suppliers. Oh, I see. And the cameras they brought did not meet our specifications at all. Okay, okay. Mm. So he said he needed a couple of weeks to sort things out. I decided to come back home since we have uh, so many new projects going on. That was very thoughtful of you. I need you around here. <laughs> Talking about new projects, I saw the dummies of uh, Ms. Johnson's mark. Okay. I think they are coming along quite well. Indeed they are. Hey. I must say you picked a winner with that one. <laughs> <laughs> See, the moment I set my eyes on her proposals, it was obvious that she did her homework beforehand. Yeah. Couldn't resist it. <laughs> Couldn't resist it.
Aren't you just all so very pleased with yourself today? Well, I'm really so pleased with myself. Why is that if I may ask? Right, um, I, PJ, mm -hmm. just cracked a case that has eluded the police for good five good years. Come on, you, PJ. What are you I'm talking telling about? you. Okay, you have to see it yourself. Take a look at this. I'm telling you, just go through it. Understand. This is about a woman accused of killing her husband years ago. Exactly. But his remains were never found. So the police couldn't pin his death on her. So what did you do? The client who brought the case to our company wanted us to confirm his death. And did you do that? No. I ended up confirming that he is still alive. Alive? He's not dead. How? How did you do that? Yeah, um, at first I found out where his family stays with the leave from the police file mm -hmm. and then I sent a messenger to them. Mm-hmm. That doesn't prove that he's alive, is it? They replied. I mean, they sent a reply back through the same messenger. <laughs> you know what it means? It means they know he has been alive and they've been in contact all these years. Really? I'm telling you. Oh my God, that is so brilliant. Excellent job. You know, I always told you that you're very good at this <sighs> job, but you wouldn't listen. I know, but B has still want to travel abroad. Hmm. Yes. Are you sure you want to travel abroad? Of course. You oh, know, I have to. Oh, my mother just keeps it. Let me get something. You should know. I'm supposed to be hungry by mm. now. So, what do you have for lunch? I understand. Okay. All right. Did you just say you're married? Well, maybe I shouldn't have said it that way. What do you mean? Marriage is married however you say it. Okay, I was married. And then my husband died. You're widowed? Not really. Why don't you say exactly what you want to say and stop, stop, stop playing around? I was married. Yes. Then my husband was killed. But his body was... His body was what? His body was never found, so now I don't know if I'm still married or if I'm widowed. Look, I'd be truly, truly grateful if you could just explain yourself more clearly. I was married. Uh -huh. And then one night, there was an accident. My husband was rushed to the hospital and declared dead the following morning. But before we could bury him, his body disappeared from the mortuary. How could his body just disappear from the mortuary? I don't know. That's what his family told the police. Didn't the police investigate? What did they say? They said the body was deposited at the mortuary point all night, but nobody could explain how it just disappeared. And uh, where were you when all this was happening? leaving this early. I have to rush. It's cold early this morning. I hope nothing is wrong. I don't know. He sounded uptight on the phone. 
have to find out what's going on. But what did he say when he called? Not much. Just that I should be in his office first thing this morning. I don't know. I don't know. Something's not right. Hey, Nikki, you can't be so sure about that. But why else did he sound the way he sounded on the phone? Maybe I shouldn't have told him about Ed. What? You did? You told him about Ed? Yes, I did. And I thought you took it one at a time. But right now, I can't, I'm not so sure. Well, it's okay. If it's about Ed, besides, I have something I want to know. Can we talk about this later? I really have to. Miss you really need to go. Not now, not now. Adi, please, please. Okay. <laughs> such a thing from me. But Peter, I told you I was married. I told you my husband was supposed to have died. Yeah, but not, not that you were accused of killing him. Or that you actually stood trial for his murder. Uh, yeah, you told me you were not around when the body disappeared. I was... You were in jail. You could have told me you were in jail awaiting trial for his murder when his body disappeared. Does it matter? What matters is that you hid it all from me. If I hadn't stumbled on the papers. I did not kill my husband. Maybe, maybe not. But that is not what I wanted. God. Do you know the scandal that could result from my association with you if this thing ever gets out? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cause you any problems. How did I even get myself involved in all this? Peter can explain, please. Look, there is no time for explanation now. And by the way, Alex is supposed to have conducted a security check before embarking on this project with you. How come you never found this out? I guess it's because I changed my name. Oh yes, that too was mentioned in the papers. I might not have recognized you if it hadn't been for the pictures. What pictures? Papers? Oh, you didn't know your pictures were all over the papers five years ago? How did you find them? You're a murder suspect, my dear. These things never go away. I see. Don't be too quick to judge me, Pete. Things are not always as they seem. Maybe not. But right now, I need to sort myself out and take all this in. And in the meantime... I think it's best you stay away from me. Give me some space. Okay. What about the map? Thank goodness Alex is back. You can work with him for now. I see you've thought it all out. Goodbye then. <laughs> was not dead and you never told me? This one. What did you just say? You let 
me go on believing you are living with the guilt of murder? Did you just say that Ed is not dead? Are you asking me? you knew all along. Don't forget about what I said. I'll explain later. Why do you think Ed is not dead? Well, I've always had my doubt about his death. So, I wanted to find out one way or the other. And? So, I had a private investigator. I found a new life in you. I don't understand you anymore, Chris. I don't. Bibi, I told you there is nothing to understand. Oh yes, except for the fact that you've been so strange recently. Look, like I told you, I needed a few days to sort myself. Oh, That's yes. what I told you. Yes, a few days. A few days, yet it's been one week now, and things are not getting me any better. Well, things are getting worse and worse and worse for the day. Look, I'm dealing with this, okay? Dealing with what? What are you dealing with, Peter? You cannot even talk to me. I'm sorry, I can't talk about it right now. Oh my goodness, Peter. I am your wife! And despite the differences in our relationship, I still think that position requires some privileges. Bibi, please. One of which is the right to know what you're dealing with. That has turned you into a total stranger in your own home. Look, I have not turned into anything. And I have not forgotten that you're my wife. But thank God you haven't forgotten that simple fact. Listen, Bibi, I don't want to fight. Like I told you, I'm dealing with the situation. As a matter of fact, as we speak, things are resolving out already. It will all be history soon. That's what you said, Master. This time, I am serious. Things will get back to normal very soon, I promise. I just hope it's stupid. I just hope things will actually get back to normal. All I want is my husband back. I, I want to have my husband back. You have your husband right here with you, my dear. I still love you. I found a new life in you. I got a brand new day. What is love? Him. I 
was blinded by my pain. I could hear Ed screaming in the background. You don't see. After Ed stopped moving, my mother kept asking me if, if Ed was dead. But I was too weak to answer. She panicked and ran off, leaving the person beside me. What you're saying is true. Why did your mother abandon you when you needed her most? My mother didn't abandon me at this one. I asked her to stay away. I asked her to stay away because I didn't want the whole family being dragged into the mess. So, you suppose calling with your mother all these years has been a charity? your first case? Yes. What about a dead husband who turned out not dead after all? What are you saying? I'm telling you that. Turns out the guy's been hiding away from his wife all these years. Are you sure he didn't die actually in the first place? Positive that. It turns out that she has been hiding away from his family and as a matter of fact I already traced him. I saw in the papers lying on the living room table the other day. Okay. Exactly. The woman's trial was all about the papers, but they couldn't pin it on her. Dad, are yeah, you sure yeah. you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine. I'd, I'd rather leave you then. PJ. Yes, Dad. thinking if you're sure you still want to travel abroad then maybe we should start making the arrangements of course you don't have to want to travel abroad <laughs> but dad i promise me I... I know about your deal with me it's okay she would free if she knew you have no blessings you dad i know you don't want me to travel so don't just start that i know you don't want me to travel are you sure about that i'm very sure it's your life i should allow you to make your mistakes and learn your lessons. You mean you want me to travel, Dad? Thank you so much, Dad. Thank you, Dad. I will get something. Wait, Dad, I will get <laughs> Yeah. I sent some document to your office containing the name and the details of a man I want you to investigate. No, no, no. It's not the same person. It's a different person. Yeah, this has to do with my friend. Okay. When we see, we'll talk about it. All right. Thank you. Hey, you're late. I know. I had to perform a few things before calling. Okay, so do you have something to report? Yes, sir. No, it's not much. At least you already know we're trusting him. Okay. 
did you get my other message? Yeah, I did. And uh, I already have what you wanted to know. Already? Wow. You sure do work very fast. This was easy anyway. Okay, I'm listening. You said your particular interest in his personal life. Yes. What did you find out? He, he has a wife and a son. A wife? I, I thought his wife was already dead. Well, yes. His first wife, the mother of his son, is dead. But he got married to a younger woman just some few years back. That lying cheat. How convenient. Careful with insults, ma'am. I don't think they are warranted yet. A man hides the fact that he's married from a girl he's going out with hmm. and... He lives openly with his wife and son. So how does that translate as hiding the fact of their existence? What else did you find out? Well, um... He is a decent and hard-working man. Decent? <laughs> did I hear you just say decent? Huh? Of course he is. That lying, cheating... Like I said, ma'am. If with insults, I mean, they, they, they are neither deserved nor necessary. What is it with you with what I say about this man anyway? And how did you know the insults are not deserved? I know the insults are not deserved. He is my father. What? <clears throat> Alex, did you see the material I sent to your office? Yes, I just finished reading it before coming to this meeting. And what do you think? Oh, that's quite unexpected. But I feel it should not uh, stop anything. How do you mean? It happened long ago before now. Despite her past, she has a good product. Yes, I, uh, I agree with you. Recently, I've had reason to believe that the husband did not actually die. That's good news. Yeah. How do you know? Can we trust you, sus? Well, yes. PJ is the one handling the investigation for the security company. I see. But I can't bring myself to believe that they didn't find that out in the first place. Well, you know she changed her name and all that. Yeah. So, I noticed that too. Anyway, if anything else turns up, you'll be the first to know. Now, I think I should be heading back to the States. Maybe I don't know. Alright, the main thing is to do what you can before you need to leave. Okay. I found a new life in you. I got a brand new day. Hey, Nikki. What's up? Hey, I've been knocking for ages. Really? Yeah. I'm so sorry, my mind was So, come on, tell me, are you done with the files I gave you to work on yet? Oh God, I'm so sorry, I forgot. You did what? How can we forget a thing like that? I'm so sorry, it's just that a lot has been happening. But this is important, Nikki. We've worked real hard to end this break. Now you want to mess it up? I'm not messing anything up, but... A lot has been happening to me lately, that's all. But some things are more important than others. You should know that, Nikki. No. Ray, I know what's top on my list of priorities. I don't need any sermon right now. Okay, all right, okay. I am I am sorry, okay? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to preach. I, I, it's just that. It's just, no, it's just no, that. Just, the mag is coming along just fine. Once I sort myself out, we'll go through your features and we'll add them in as planned. Okay, Nikki, whatever. It's just that I was hoping to see it in before I travel. When are you leaving? In a few days. The team is all set. Oh, I'm so sorry. And I think I should be leaving. Okay. Ray, wait. Hey. How are you? I'm alright. I was just leaving. What's wrong with him? He's upset with me. But not to worry, we'll sort, we'll sort, we'll sort it out. Okay. And you, where have you been? Mickey. Uh, 
I don't know how to say this, but I think there are some things you should know. What's going on? Why don't you stop before you put a phone in the phone? This is my dad, man. My dad! Who is also a handsome and a wealthy gentleman? For God's sake, what do you expect of him? Ben, it is not funny, okay? It's not funny! <laughs> and who is laughing? Your father is having an affair. So? Shut up! What did you just say? Ben is in the kitchen. It's only you. PJ. I honestly do not see why you're getting yourself worked up over this. Ben, you don't think it's enough to upset me, right? Now, in case you've forgotten, this man has a family. He has a wife, he has a son, me! Come on, PJ. Every man do this. Okay? I like that. You said every man, but not my father, okay? Not my own father. I think I should just tell Auntie B. Are you mad? Why would you want to do a stupid thing like that? I think she should, no? Then let her find out herself. Look, man. It has never been a good idea coming between a woman and her husband, whether he's your father or not. And I just can't help thinking this is why he suddenly changed his mind on letting me travel abroad. What do you care about why he changed his mind? Just grab the opportunity and go. After all, this is what you've always wanted. I don't know, man. I just don't know. What I don't know is why you are killing yourself and what has nothing to do with you. Come to think of it, did you talk to your father about the job? He was sent for you when he's having an opening. Okay, that's more like it. Come on, man. Don't you have anything to eat or drink? Of course, I should have something to eat yes, or something drink. to drink. Don't forget that I'm pissed, alright? such a thing from don't be too quick to judge me pete yeah but not not that you were accused of killing him or that you actually stood trial for his murder you could have told me you were in jail awaiting trial for his murder when his body disappeared how did you get all this does it matter what matters is that you hid it all from me i think it's best you stayed away from me <laughs> best that everything is out in the open now. Yes. At least whatever decisions you take, you would know the stakes. <laughs> to think that Pete was so mad at me when all along he had something to hide. Mm. Typical human behavior. But I think his guilt was part of his anger. Come in! But still, I don't want to believe that Pete will just... Please just come in and let's have some peace. What do you want? I'd like a word with Nicole. It's okay. So you can lie to me again? Uh-uh. No. I never lied to you, Nicole. Of course not. Of course you didn't lie to me. You just didn't tell me the truth, did you, Pete? Look, I know this game. I've played it too, remember? Nicole, please. Do you know what? I don't really want to hear whatever you have to say. I'm not interested. Just let me explain. Which was more than what you gave me. At least let me apologize. I know I should have given you the benefit of doubt. Okay. Apology accepted. Anything else?
Yeah. What's bothering you? Nothing. I'm fine. I'm okay. Why have you been acting like you have um, a bee in your bonnet? B, I said I'm fine, okay? I'm okay. Look, PJ, I am your stepmother. And I can read past through you. I know when you're fine, I know when you're not. At the moment, I know that you're not okay. But if you do not want to talk about it, it's fine. But I want you to always know that I'm here for you. You can talk to me on any issue at all. Uh, I don't know how to say this to you, but I think I just have to. You know, you've been a good stepmom all these years, but there's something you should know. I, my dad, I can't say this. I can't talk about it. What has your dad done again? Has he refused to send you abroad? No! No, it's not that! So what is it? What is it that you can't tell me? What is it that you're so fidgety about? What is it? Be pleased, okay? I just can't talk about it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I can't. I just can't. We can't be together. Don't say that. It's the truth, Pete. I told you from the start I didn't want any complications. Now you know why. Look, Nicole. Pete, I can't date you. You were married. Whatever started between us was not meant to be. We'll have a good business relationship going on. Let's just concentrate on that. That's exactly why I didn't want to tell you I was married. This is the only way. I know, but it's not easy for me to accept. Look, I want you with me, Nicole. Pete, no. We can't be together. It's not right. You think we can work together that way? We can try. The magazine is very important to me, and I wouldn't want anything to spoil it for me. So am I. So, friends. Friends and partners. But not. <laughs> Just friends and partners, Pete. That's all we can have. Let's be grateful for that much. Everything was fine. Okay. So. I um, actually came home to apologize to you. Apologize? Mm -hmm. Whatever for? 
Listen, I know I have not been the best of husbands in the last few mm. weeks, so I actually came to say, forgive me. Come on, baby, you know I've already forgiven you. I mean, I put all those things behind me. So, I mean, really, is that why you came home this early? Isn't that good enough reason? No, it is, just a little bit. Listen, listen, if you give me a chance, I'll make it up to you. Oh, that's so sweet. So, you now see why I married you. Because you're such a wonderful man with a good heart. Well, since this is so unexpected, mm -hmm. I would um, say we go upstairs, you know, have a good time. Then later on, you take me out for dinner somewhere mm -hmm. very romantic and exotic. exotic. You know what I mean? Yeah, and thereafter we see what develops. Oh, you know. Is there lipstick? Yeah, my lipstick all over. I wish mean, you could go to work like you see your workers to see you. No you problem. know what? I'm going to get something to eat, okay? Mm -hmm.